So this is the ELF system, just out of the box. You got your hose sets, suction hose, manual, suction tube, air motor, resin pump, filter housing, relief valve, catalyst pump, catalyst suction hoses, and catalyst bracket. These are the tools you'll need. You'll need 7 16 a 9 16 a 5 8 11 16 uh, a 5 32 Allen key, and a 7 16 socket wrench. Inside the packet, you have your manual, all your rebuilds as a chopper rebuild, catalyst pump, chopper blades, gun grease, resin pump rebuild, suction screen, three U bolts, able sleeves, and a breakdown of everything that's what comes with the system. I'm going to start off with putting U bolts on the back of the system to put on a pole. Now we're installing the system to the pole. We use two U-bolts. Use a half inch wrench. Top and bottom. Now we're install the catalyst bracket. We installed the catalyst bracket. Catalyst jug comes with an S hook. We do it on the left of the machine because the catalyst sits on the left side. Now we're going to install the catalyst pump. We attach the shoulder bolt to the catalyst pump by tape. We'll remove that. Fitting goes towards the back of the pump. Use a 532 Allen key. We'll attach it to the slave arm that we have engraved to give you your catalyst numbers from 0.75 all the way up to 3.0. Next is the catalyst relief valve as well. We tape the bolts to the back of the unit. They go right in the front using a 7 16 Next we'll be installing the resin filter assembly. It goes on the right side of the machine, just above the resin pump. Next we'll be installing the catalyst hose assembly. It will come in a bag like this. We'll first start off with the catalyst hose itself, stainless steel braided hose. Connects to the back of the catalyst pump. The 7 16 wrench. Make sure you hold the catalyst pump so not to bend the pump shaft. We'll bring it down to the fluid inlet on the relief valve. Next we'll be installing the relief valve hose assembly. This is done by hand. You install it from the bottom, push the hose up, turn to the right until it tightens up. Bring it up to the relief valve housing, 
just insert and then you insert the hose into your catalyst bucket and that is your dump pressure. We'll be installing the catalyst hose. This is the suction hose. Into the catalyst bucket jug. So now catalyst gets pumped through, cycles through the relief valve, pressurize it, and then you can dump it all back into the jug. Next we'll be installing the suction hose. So it goes on the bottom of the suction pump. Next we'll be installing the suction tube to the suction hose. Installing the suction screen that came with your packet and your manual. This gets put in your 55 gallon drum. Okay. Now we installing the hose assembly. We came in with the box. Start off with the resin. Goes to the resin filter assembly. This is your chopper hose. It goes in the chopper hose. The blue line is your gun air. It goes into your gun air. This is your catalyst air. You go into the catalyst air. Mini regulator, which we set at 32 PSIs, which is adjustable. We also put a check valve in, so catalyst does not back up into the system. Now that we have all the hoses in, and they're good and tight, so we're going to put air to the system, to the nozzle. This is your regulator to adjust your speed. We're going to set up to prime the catalyst pump. We're going to pull the pin out. We're going to prime it. You'll see catalyst coming through. Once all the bubbles or some of the bubbles are done, you can lift the handle. It will start priming and holding pressure. Once you got up to about 100, put the pin back in. And you're ready to go.